Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the current state of autopilot. Um, today we are going to be driving into the sunset <clears throat> and seeing what happens. <laughs> Not really. I'm coming up on the, the freeway. We're going to tr um, try out navigate on autopilot again. I think the last time I did one of these videos, um, navigate on autopilot still had uh, the... Um, Gotta get onto the on ramp. It still required approval for um, like lane changes and uh, stuff like that. Now it does not. Um, so I've got a destination of a supercharger about um, 10 miles away. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have my hands on the steering wheel, but autopilot is gonna be driving. And we'll see how it does. So this is the on ramp, this is a three lane freeway. There's nobody to my left right now. So, and um, I get on this on-ramp quite a bit and it often jumps right into the left lane. I mean the middle lane, it jumps two lanes at once. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that does that. Usually I have an exit coming up pretty soon and so I thought it was because, and it's a left, it's a left-sided exit, so I thought maybe that's why it, gets in the middle lane so soon. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, uh, and then up ahead we're going to have a good S-curve that we'll be able to test the slowing down, and a little bit of construction, and a freeway exchange. So I'm running, uh, what is this, 28.3.1 or 2, actually I can't remember what it is. Um, all right, so it's changing into a faster lane now. So, yeah, so the last time I did a current state of autopilot video, I think I still, you still had to uh, approve a lane change. Oh, that was a little jerky. Uh, by using the, um, the stock or something like that. Now it's completely automatic. So it did that entire um, on-ramp. Um, it, it merged on, um, it changed lanes into this, uh, into the fast lane here because of this, this truck over here was kind of slow and uh, you saw the red car on the left okay now it's telling me it wants to get out of the passing lane um, now the one check that it does still have is uh it won't it won't change lanes it won't do a lane change unless it knows that i'm awake so you have to like wiggle the steering wheel it's not that you have to steer um, it's just that, or even really approve what it's doing, you just have to wiggle the steering wheel. Now here's an exit right here. It used to always take that exit even when the navigation said to go straight. It was kind of weird. Um, also doubly weird because like, it would do it correctly, it would stay on the freeway correctly like right after I got a software update, um, but then the next time I tried it, it would go back to like taking that exit even though the nav, or trying to, I mean I never let it, but it would start like trying to exit the freeway and stuff. Okay, so this is the S-curve, oh, and there's some nice uh, sunset going on up there. Um, of course we're behind some slower cars, a slow truck up there, but uh, it does actually slow down for these curves. It also won't do lane changes here because of the solid whites. Um, I always get a ton of comments about those. It's not illegal to like get out of a lane if you have a solid white, but autopilot doesn't do it. Um, actually, there's something interesting up here. I've had people tell me that like a yellow, there's there's never a yellow line where you don't have traffic coming the other way. And that's not true actually. Like right over there, there's a yellow line and there's no opposing traffic. Like the yellow, the yellow line means it's illegal to cross. Anyway. I digress. Okay, so it also still has autopilot um, nags, the warnings, so you have to wiggle the steering wheel or do some sort of input to tell it that you're still alive and waking and awake and looking for stuff. Um, this truck is actually moving pretty fast. I'm gonna, I don't wanna tail it so fast, but I'm gonna increase my follow distance. I don't trust trucks in terms of like kicking up rocks and stuff. And I really don't want to have to replace this windshield. Uh, so we're going to be 
merging to the left. I'm not sure why it's not navigating me around this truck, but we'll just leave it be. Motorcycle coming up on the left. Oh, it's thinking about moving. Oh, there's our motorcycle. It's not gonna let me merge into that guy. All right, why is it doing this? Changing lanes into faster lane. Okay, so now we're gonna follow the motorcycle. You can see a motorcycle right there, really tiny. So yeah, autopilot has gotten really smooth. This is like the ideal conditions for autopilot. No severe weather, Tra there's uh, some traffic, I mean there's some cars, but there's not really traffic. Nobody's like cutting you off or not lighting you into a lane. Um, so, and now it's picking a lane. So autopilot really does well and the, and the road lines are really good. So it, it can basically drive itself, well it does drive itself, uh, in these conditions and you really don't have to interrupt it. You just basically have to tell it occasionally, hey I'm awake and uh, you know, hey keep going, do your lane change, good job, way to go. And that's about it. So, but if you get construction, bad weather, uh, like too many cars, uh, some unexpected I don't know, something or other, then um, it'll start not doing what it's supposed to doing or getting confused and defaulting uh, driving to you, the driver. So this is the, I meant this is a freeway exchange, this is pretty easy, but it's doing it fine. There's a couple of times where I've taken this some on-ramps here and some weird um, geometry where I I thought autopilot was wrong in like like why am I why am I in this lane autopilot uh, turns out autopilot was right and I was wrong uh, yeah changing lanes to follow route well, we don't exactly need to change lanes. Oh, it's doing that because it knows the uh, exit is coming up soon, and so it doesn't want to um, miss the exit. So it's it's doing that. All right. So I have not interrupted autopilot at all yet. I haven't told it to not do anything that it suggested doing. It hasn't crashed into anything. It's been quite smooth. Uh, the lane changes have been smooth. The merging has been smooth. Um, if it's going to make a lane change but it has to wait for a car, that's been smooth as well. So it's definitely been getting smoother and smoother. Apply light force, okay, yeah. Which is really great. If this truck was not in front of us, you could enjoy the sunset a little bit better. It's actually quite nice. Uh... Yeah. Oh, nice. The truck's taking our exit. All right. Well, so that was the car taking the exit. I didn't do that. Um, one thing I've noticed is that it doesn't turn its blinker on until, at least when it takes a, um, an exit lane, when it goes into an exit lane, it doesn't turn its blinker on until it's like right ready to turn in. Then it's like blinker, turn into new lane. Whereas like a human, generally like, you would turn your blinker on for a little while before you actually exit. Um, but that's a minor thing. All right, so it's gonna go out of navigate on autopilot into regular autopilot eventually. Yeah, and then it should come to a stop at the uh, intersection. In uh, shadow mode, the car is detecting um, lights, traffic lights and stop signs. All right, let's see what it does here. But it doesn't like, doesn't compute for it. it doesn't know what it's doing. So uh, it's not stopping because there's a red light. It's stopping because there's an intersection here and also because there's a car in front of me. All right, so I'm gonna turn that off. That's basically the current state of autopilot. Uh, 
what we're looking forward to next is version 10, which is going to include advanced summon. Currently, when you summon your car, it will only go forward or reverse or parallel park if you're using auto park or uh, back into a spot for perpendicular parking. Um, it doesn't really navigate around things or anything like that. Advanced summon uh, will be doing some of that. And uh, that's been promised for like, I don't know, the last nine months. Uh, so anyway, eventually version 10 is going to come out with that feature. And what else? Um, we're also supposed to be getting the rest of full self-driving features, which includes, um, well, it should include stop signs and stop lights. Uh, so it'll, it'll work with intersections. And then finally with uh, city driving, which is going to be super complex in my opinion. So we'll see when those rolled out, when those roll out again, and that's gonna be version 10. We're still on version nine right now, and uh, who knows, it's supposed to happen in the next month or two, but um, it's Elon time, so it could be the end of the year or next year, who knows. So again, that's pretty much where we are with autopilot. It's working really well on the freeways, and in a lot of ways, uh, it's still got a ways to go. It could be smoother in some areas, like, um, doing different kinds of lane changes, like instead of just always doing the same kind of lane change, um, it needs to be better about, you know, not just changing lanes, but actually getting itself, uh, fitting in with the flow of traffic and getting into that hole where it needs to be and um, not kind of putting other drivers, uh, putting them off or putting them on edge, <clears throat> but really fitting in. That'll come with time. Um, and then uh, some people have reported that it's, you know, doing a lot of, you hear a, l a lot more and more about it avoiding obstacles. Um, that's definitely not something you want to rely on in terms of not paying attention. Um, but it seems to be getting more capable with that. Uh, also recognizing uh, different vehicles. And in the display, there used to be a lot of wiggle when it was trying to like place where the physical item, the, the cars were in the, in the physical universe. And it's doing a lot less of that wiggle, so that's pretty cool. So, oh, the other thing is that I've noticed, it does a lot less shadow braking, uh, like when going onto a freeway. We have a section of freeway where there's like three overpasses, and when I first got the car, it used to always like shadow brake there. Now it like hardly shadow brakes at all. So that's pretty cool. It's nice not to have sudden braking. So, um, what else? So freeways, interchanges. It still needs a, a much more of a chill mode. Um, it, needs, it needs to start braking more gently and accelerating a little more quickly from, uh, from stop and go situations, I think. Um, and it need, it's definitely gonna need some changes in order to work in slippery conditions because otherwise it's just gonna slip and uh, it's it's gonna br it breaks too hard and it has good traction and stuff but you're gonna rear end somebody if you don't like take it super easy when it's slippery um, so more stuff for the neural net to learn uh, yeah so uh, we'll see I have um, so this is the 2018 model X it still has the 2.5 hardware um, but I do have I did pr uh, pre-purchase the full self-driving software so I'll be getting everything that comes out and eventually, probably in the next year, they'll be upgrading my chip to the hardware three, or maybe they'll skip to the 3.5 or whatever the slightly updated version and who's, who knows. And I am getting a model three in the next, uh, probably in a week and a half, hopefully. And that will have the hardware three chip in it. Um, so that'll be interesting to see if there's any differences in functionality. Um, Right now, I think it's they're limited by the neural net, not the computational power yet. Um, so it might be a while before... Um, I mean, they've got to train it to be able to do uh, enough stuff to where it actually taxes the compute power. And I don't think they've reached that limit. I think the current hardware can actually handle the computations and the neural net that it needs to run right now. It's just they have to train it to do what it needs to do. But eventually the software will get so big that they'll be able to utilize the hardware three chip. 
So that's it. Um, as usual, I keep talking and talking. Uh, so if you have any questions about the current state of autopilot, uh, feel free to put it uh, down in the comment section. Feel free to like or share uh, if you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for more current state of autopilot videos as it gets more and as we get more and more features, um, I'll be testing it out and showing uh, the improvements over time. So it's pretty fun to pretty fun to use. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.